this is going to be your, excuse me, your monthly love reading for December. <clears throat> this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reason, oh, I can't even tell. <laughs> if this reading doesn't resonate for you, then I advise you to go ahead and check your, um, your moon and your rising sign as well. If it still doesn't resonate for you, it just means that it wasn't meant for you, okay? Somebody else just needed to hear a message more than you this week probably, okay? So, all right, guys. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Also, you know, if you're looking for something um, personalized, you guys can um, email me or go ahead and visit my website at pinkarygym.com and um, purchase a reading, okay? All right, we'll go ahead and see what's going on. What, where are you coming from? What happened in the past that will influence now and the future? First card that jumped out was a Seven of Swords. Either you deceiving someone or somebody deceiving you. Somebody did this, okay? Whether you or the other person. Um, and the Seven of Swords presents itself when somebody has decided to do a very selfish act and know what they're doing is wrong or it's not right. You know, they have a conscience surrounding it, like they know right from wrong, but they choose to go ahead with that action anyway, regardless of anybody else, regardless if they hurt anybody else. So that is what the Seven of Swords is here for. Somebody that was lying, um, deceiving, stealing, um, whether it be your time, whether it be your energy, you know, telling you they love you when they didn't or you know anything like that where 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 the situation was not fair okay this is in the past position here we also have a three of cups with temperance The strong sense I'm getting here is that either you or the person that you're dealing with stepped out, whether it was just to go out and just completely just start a new life by yourself, just to do something totally different, or stepped out to go be with somebody else. seek somebody else may not have gone directly to another person but could quite possibly have gone to another person is what i see here i don't get the sense that this is something that is current though I feel like whatever happened between you and this person happened a while ago. And what I mean by a while ago is it could be anywhere from like three months to like a year and a half ago. And they left, somebody left. And um, because they really thought the grass was greener on the other side, okay? But I feel like, you know, what they did was wrong and they realized what they did was wrong. And they come here um, and they have the temperance card, you know, being able to judge something rightfully here. Balancing out emotions, bringing things back together in a uniform way. And I feel like this is, this is 
an individual who wants to bring something back together. They want patience. They want you to have patience. Um, this is somebody that wants to reunite is what I feel. I feel that strongly. Somebody wants to reunite. We have Sag energy, um, Cancer. We also have Aquarius energy here. Somebody's wanting to. They left and they didn't do it in an honorable way. Thought the grass was greener on the other side, whether they thought the single life was cool or whether they left to be with somebody else or whatever, um, it wasn't right. And they know it wasn't right, okay? But you're holding, like, you're holding on to yourself. I feel like, I feel like whatever has happened, like the point that you are right now after what has happened, you have come to a point where you're no longer willing to give to a situation that is not benefiting you. But I feel like you've got a really strong hold on yourself that you're, you're almost going to, if you don't let go a little bit, it's, you, you're going to block yourself from things. And this is um, Capricorn energy right here. Aries, we have Leo. It's like you're, you're waiting on something to come towards you. But like I said, you're almost blocking yourself here with the seven of wands also, but with this four of pentacles, it's like you're holding on to this person coming and making amends as well. And you might not even realize that your energy is, is, is such that it's blocking you from getting the things that you truly deserve. See where we're going with this mm, conflict two of wands strength we have strong leo aries energy in your reading I feel as though since leaving the relationship, it's it's almost like you know you don't you know what path you need to follow. You're just not letting go in order to follow it. You're not letting go of what happened with this person to follow it. Of course, you're strong enough to stand your ground and, you know, guard yourself against idiocracy and, you know what I'm saying, to guard yourself against foolishness and people, you know, not respecting your boundaries. You're, you're good on that. You're good on that. But as far as this person that hurts you, you're very conflicted, very conflicted. And I feel like you're conflicted because you can't get over the betrayal and how they actually left. But I do, I do see you eventually letting go of, of that energy.
I do see you having patience with yourself. I do, I do see that. And I see this person also waiting on you to approach them. In this five of wands, everybody's doing their own thing. So I think both of you are con conflicted because each of you is waiting on the other one for different reasons. You want retribution. You want somebody to come in and say, you know, I was wrong for doing this. The other person wants you to come in because they're very prideful. They know they left in a way that, you know, it was wrong, but they don't want you to know that they know that they were wrong. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, this person, whoever, you are the other person. <clears throat> Felt like, <laughs> and I, I don't want to put it this way, but it's just a feeling that I'm getting. Almost like they could do better. They felt like they could do better. They left because they felt like they could do better. Um, they felt like they, like, look at me. I'm this, I'm that. And they set out to start a new life. But soon realize, they soon realize, here we go, here you are, Virgo. Realizing that everything is not the way that it seems, okay? Ego death. Reflecting on the things that you've done in the past. Realizing that, hey, maybe I should not have done that. Maybe I should have respected this person more. You know, maybe I should have taken their feelings into account. So this is you, Virgo. I feel strongly this is you. feeling feeling bad about what has happened because I feel like that death with the hermit card is like killing that ego and really just kind of you know reflecting on your life reflecting on past events um, you know not necessarily reminiscing but kind of like dissecting here want to make things right with the justice card Spiritual awakening here, justice, tower, clarifying temperance. Knocking down that old foundation, old belief system. Want to make things right. Being patient enough with yourself and others to, to do what you know is right to balance out those scales. So somebody made a decision in the past that to walk away because they felt like, you know, they were deserving of something better, um, better than what they had. And no sooner than they walk away, they realize, wait a minute, I had it really good with this person. This person was a really good person. The way I left was, was not good. I need to make this right. I need to make this right. They're not dating, whoever this is. I feel like this person is, um, those two cards flip, and I haven't even asked a question or said anything, but we'll take those. 
Um, but this person is realizing that they took you for granted or vice versa. I didn't place these cards anywhere, but we have the King of Wands and um, the Ten of Swords. I feel like this person strong, strong, strong Leo energy here. Strong Leo energy. But um, I feel like this person was was mentally abusive. Very mentally abusive here. Not good, not good. You know what? Guys, I don't know why I thought this was the Eight of Wands. I kept seeing a Seven of Wands. But <clears throat> I felt that defensiveness but the seven of wands appears here. And it's like, and this is clarified, the seven of wands and the nine of cups is clarifying the three of wands, you know, waiting on what you deserve to come in. But you're very defensive, like I said. And I think that defensiveness, holding on to yourself, is going to block you from receiving what it is that, you know, that you deserve to receive at this point. So you have to let go a little bit and um, open yourself up. It's hard to open yourself up after you've been hurt though and I understand that because I have been there, I've so been there. Um, but in order for you to receive this healing the way that you really would benefit from you're gonna have to let go a little bit you know i feel like you don't want to accept anything less than your prince charming basically somebody that is um knows how to express themselves in the right way somebody that wants you so somebody that you know wants you that you don't have to guess Not trying to argue. I feel like, you know, this is, this could be you or it could be an air sign that you're dealing with. Um, but I feel like I feel like this King of Swords is you. Like they're, you know, you're not trying to argue anymore. If you, whatever you have to say, I don't know why I put that on top of that. And I guess it's because, you know, it's like you're, you're tucking all that behind you. The five of swords, all the arguments and confusion and, you know, stubbornness. It's like you're, you're holding all of that. You're holding all of that. And if, if need be, then you know, you, you know how to remove things from your life that are not serving you. The problem is currently is that I don't feel like you're, you're really truly open to receive, um, love. I feel like you've got somebody trying to communicate with you. You've got somebody that's interested in you, but I don't think that you're allowing that energy to come into your space because you're so closed off. 
I don't see it. I see you almost surprised the four cups is not here. Like almost like you don't even you're not even thinking about that anymore at this point. Leo. Yeah. You have Leo air energy here. Um, Leo Gemini. Leo Gemini kind of energy I feel like going on here. Um, Scorpio as well. But strong, strong Leo. On the Eight of Wands, I feel like <sighs> there's there's some there's somebody that there's a relationship here. There, there is a strong, somebody feels very strongly about this connection. Very strongly about this connection. They, they see this as something that you know can make them very very happy but let's see Here is the four cups with the magician. <laughs> yeah, see. This is this is somebody that's missing something. They're not seeing things the way they need to see them for them to be beneficial. Um if you're not careful here. And if I wasn't clear before, um, the energies can go either way. Somebody here is on the verge of missing an opportunity <clears throat> because the Four of Cups appears in the near future. Um, for letting this conflict, you know, stay in the middle of you guys coming together. And I feel like, you know, somebody's trying to manifest something here. This is a Gemini card, Gemini Virgo. So and I think I think that Virgo, you're trying to bring somebody into your life. You're wanting a companion. You're wanting a companion, but you're going to have to open up a bit, okay? To allow somebody to come in. You may think that you're open, but if you really sit down and think about you know, the things that you have gone through and what you still, like your mind falls back on, you realize that you're really not opening yourself up, okay? Yeah, you want somebody to share your life with. You really do. You hear with the, oh, with the two of wands, and then you have the six of coins, and then you have the two of swords, being between two minds, not really knowing what it is that you're supposed to do or want to do, but you do know. You do know. You're just having a hard time letting go of the hurt. You know. 
You know how to have a relationship. You know what it takes to make one work. And you have to decide to let it go. Just let it go. As hard as it may be, focus on something else. Focus on, you know, here we go. You've got something coming in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Letting go of that hurt, that pain, that person, what they did to you. This is, this is where you're going to be here in the near future. Star card, Ten of Coins, Strength card. You're going to get everything that you want. You're going to get that stable, grounded relationship. That humbleness that you, that you, you know, like in a person. How you are. That reciprocal love. That faded, destined feeling. Feeling you know, of this is the person that you're, that you're supposed to be with. You're going to be strong enough to endure and come out of this. Okay? There you are. All right, Virgo. So that is what I have for you guys for December. And I will be seeing you, speaking with you soon.